We are at the State Farm Stadium at an indoor RV show. And today we are gonna show you guys the most expensive van all the way down to the least expensive van. The real question is, what do you get for your money in 2023? Starting with the least expensive van we can find here today. Look at this thing, it's tiny. So what we have here is the Pleasure Way Tofino. It's on a Ram Promaster 1500 chassis. It is not a high roof, so it's pretty low in here. So this would be me standing up, Uh huh. but it does have a pop top. So this overhead bunk is 49 inches wide and 72 inches long. So look at this. This ring is from the light. When it's compressed down and the light's on, it's heating up. <gasps> You have one on this side and one on this side. This is the worst. These are the things to look out for in your budget friendly vans. Yes. What is that blue? Um, you know what? I bet that has maybe this bag. <laughs> the light melted a hole in the bag when it was probably like stuck up here when the pop top was down. Okay. So like you said, these are yes. the things to be looking for when buying a van. This is the cheapest van that we could find here. They call this the minimalistic design. And as you can see, it's very, very minimalistic. But with that being said, this galley is pretty big. The fridge is very, very small. But like Bob kind of alluded to, you do get what you pay for. So this is a manual sofa bed that is queen size and it will extend all the way to the back of the van. And other than that, there's not a whole lot in here. I guess you've got your galley with a couple controls and some storage with your refrigerator and your induction stove top. But all in all, pretty basic, simple and straightforward. I do like that step though. You can see the two silver panels on the top there. Mm -hmm. There are your two solar panels. Okay. so. And the last thing I think to show them is the storage. So back here is where you have your storage. You know, you can put something, uh, a grill, fire pit, a bike, something small. Yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. We would love to know, is there anyone out there that has this one? We have never seen this van before today. Van number two, the Thor Motor Coach Dazzle. This one goes for Here we are with the Thor Dazzle, which is our budget friendly version. So this is the 2AB and what it gets you is the rear bedroom, the wet bath and a dinette. Okay, so the Thor Dazzle is very similar to ours, which we currently own a Thor Talaro 20A. And what I mean by that is there is two twin beds that turn into a kind of king size bed in the back, the wet baths in the middle, the countertop space is right here, and you have two chairs, but that's where the similarities end because this one tends to be, in our opinion, a little better quality than the one that we have. Careful with the quality piece. As you can see right here. Oh no. This panel is not fit very well. And you know, I don't know if it's pushed together. I don't know if it, what's going on here, but this exposed seam could get water in it you get into a different climate where it's not so dry. Maybe there's some more humidity. This board can flex and move. It's going to swell right there. You're next to your sink where you can get water down here. These are the quality issues that I have with Thor and with our van, in fact. But they did make some good improvements. They changed this material. We have particle board with basically wallpaper over the exterior of it. This is actually a Formica top. So they did make some improvements there. They also did change the screens 
So they're not the, there are better screen options out there, but this is better than what we have. So that, and if you notice, they got rid of the skylight and put in a fan. Now this is a manual fan and it looks pretty darn cheap, but <laughs> I would still take this over the skylight, you know, that pops open when you're driving down the highway. They did make some improvements to the window coverings. So this is a little nicer than what we have. So you don't have the valance that can break off, but basically this is the same layout. Beds, then you have your wet bath here. You have your galley here. And then ultimately your two seats up front. Yeah. So the other thing I did notice is in a van, hard corners, you will hit yourself a lot. So not your favorite. And so hard, sharp corners, make sure you have some band-aids. Oh geez. And then here's the swivel seats. Yeah, the they seats, look nice. The seats look nice, but they're not as high a quality coverings as we have. Okay. So the table, they definitely changed the table. Yes. This one looks better. Although look at. Same awesome for Micah. Oh, it is like literally all coming apart. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, there's your table. There's your table. I do want to check one thing back here for power. This is your breaker panel. It says it has a thousand watt inverter. That's what I was checking to see. Like, so I'm trying to see if they did a better job of hiding all of the electrical stuff. I don't see it. This is just where your, you know, breaker panels are at. And then these are all storage, but Ah, there it is. Okay. Thousand watt. This is your thousand watt inverter. The RV masters back there. Yeah, RV, the BM Pro RV masters back there. It says it has two group 31 AGM house batteries. What are those? So AGM batteries are gonna be the, I forget what AGM stands for, but they're basically like glass batteries. They do not have as much capacity as the lithium batteries. So that's actually a step down to go to AGM versus lithium. So I'm a little disappointed that Thor did that. But this does ha come with a generator. Okay, so the generator, it depends on what you need. Generators, I actually kind of like them, but anyway, just depends on what you want. Yeah, so this one's a generator. All right, I think that's it for the Dazzle. Yeah, they, 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 they definitely, they changed a few things but not enough for me to buy one. Van number three, the Winnebago Travato 59KL. This is the one that Bob and I love. This would be our pick. So this van is $144,000 and in my opinion is amazing. It is great quality from Winnebago. It is a layout that we really like, which we'll run through in just a second. And the quality of the build. From what we can see. Granted, I don't own it, but just looking at all of the things that I normally check, I'm pretty impressed. Starting here in the back, the bathroom. This bathroom is a wet bath and it's just it's roomy you know <laughs> you can sit down do your business but you've still got enough room to shower stand up you have some storage over on this side yeah they call that a wardrobe storage yeah you've got wardrobe storage over here and it does have this little track for a shower curtain oh yeah so and uh the i really like the window covers yes and you do have the nice rear window covers. They're, so they're insulated. And they can zip open. Pretty nice. Moving up here, two beds. And what we have learned is in such a small space, having two beds is ideal because now you can easily access your overhead storage on either side. And you're not kind of crawling on your bed, especially if you're like dirty and you're looking for shoe clothes or whatever. Um, this is just really nice. And then... This does extend if you really wanted to. You can use your cushions to make this basically one big giant bed. 
I love the TV. Does come with a TV. I love where it's placement. You you could actually have it here as a as a workstation. There is a lagoon mount for your table here. So so if you wanted to like, you know, work on the road, you could actually have a desk with a keyboard and then use that as your monitor. Okay, so where is the dinette? I don't see it. Right behind you. Oh, okay. So oh, this, okay. this is your dinette. So this is your table. You can either mount it here or here. Oh. So you could use it this way. You could put it down here. Okay, okay. So just a really nice option. So here on the galley, you've got a nice sink with a cover. Okay. You've got an induction stovetop because this model does have lithium. You have your convection microwave oven and of course a refrigerator. So this is the heating system for their hot water. Okay. So you basically can turn that on, turn that up and it's kind of on demand right here. The other thing is I really like all of the window shades throughout the entire van. So you've got screens or sh blackout shades. And then you've got these that like, Oh, nice. These windows that pop out. Yep. So just a super, super cool, nice option. Yeah. And I don't really have any like negative quality things that I have seen or want to point out. I've really been checking and I haven't found anything. Which good, always good. Always but this good. is what you get for her. Oh. Yeah, just a mere $144,000. This is what you get. Welcome to van number four. This is a luxury camper van from Gretsch. It's the Strata and it's quite impressive. And this van goes for $197,000 and that's the sale price. <laughs> so it is quite expensive, but I have to say you get what you pay for. Look at this thing, how beautiful it is. Plush leather with a memory foam power bed. This is nice. All this overhead storage. So you have this nice push button. Everything is detailed and nice. So look at this. The back of your shelf is metal. That's high quality right there. Has LED lighting, as you can see across the top here. You have an air conditioner in the back. So here at the galley, you've got a nice Dometic stove. Same one we have in our van. Got your sink, your refrigerator, and look at this bathroom. It's a full wet bath with a sink, a shower, a porcelain toilet, and a window. This is the kind of shower I need. In this van, there is seating for nine people. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then there's two side seats, eight and nine. That's a lot of seating. I have to admit, I always really like the technology that Mercedes puts stock in their vans. This is beautiful and has so much functionality. With all the other safety features on it, you can't go wrong. TV right there. Yep. Okay. Smart TV. So let me show you where you hook up your utilities. They did a really nice job. So one, here is your propane hookup. So they did a nice job concealing that, making it look really nice. And on this side, this is where your power and water connections are. And this is all stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about any water or anything like that getting in here. Because you know, it's gonna be wet. But they did a really nice job hiding this and making it look really nice. So this fan does come standard with a generator and lithium in it with an inverter and everything that you'd need. So this is set up for some great boondocking options. This is on the Mercedes 3500 chassis and it is actually the extended model. So this is a 170 extended wheelbase. So it's very long. It's the biggest van you can get. And it is the biggest van you can get. At least the longest. And no van tour of mine is complete without a Storyteller Beast Mode.
And this van comes in as the most expensive van that we could find here today for $224,000. And of course, it's my favorite, the Storyteller Overland Beast Mode. It's an amazing van. So let's go inside. You have a standard bed with the flares. Here is where your cassette toilet would be, but they've laid this bed down. This is your third row seat and you have a very small galley. So it has all of the basic things that you would need, but that's not why you buy this van. And then why would you buy this van, Bob? Because of the upgrades on the exterior of this thing, the wheels, the tires, the suspension, the roof rack, the lighting. This is the van that will take you literally anywhere. So back here in the garage of this van, it is gigantic. Got lots of space to store all of your outdoor things, bikes, kayaks, uh, inflatable, you know, uh, uh, paddle boards, stuff like that. And so you've got tons of room and you've got a lot of options to upgrade this. So they make shelving units and all sorts of things that uh, can fit back here. So just a very versatile space. And look at these controls, super high quality, easy to understand. That's just the simple water controls. There's your electrical breaker panels. Just again, super nice quality. Everything's well labeled, easily accessible. Traditionally, Storyteller only really came in one color, which was white with their classic pinstripes. So this bottle is the blue gray and has a slightly different design. And I have to admit, it's pretty sick looking. So one of the things we struggle with in our van is light, the lighting. The headlights are just not that great in the ProMaster. But this thing not only does have good headlights, but it has the lighting upgrade. You've got your fog lights down here. You have your KC lights up on top of the roof rack. You're going to be able to light up the night. I think Bob just thinks this is going to up his cool factor. That's why he likes this van. 100%. <laughs> I would be so cool if I had this. So here on the driver's side, we have our ladder, which goes up to our roof rack. You also have the flares, which gives you a little bit wider space in the bunk. And it comes with the tire like carrier kit that we had to pay extra money for, for an upgrade. Come stock on this one. Yeah, but the van is uh, over a hundred thousand more than we paid. The tire we bought was only $250. Okay, you got me there. So we are done. Yeah, five vans, two reasonably priced ones, two Ooh. extravagant ones. Yes. And of course our favorite. No, 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 your favorite. <laughs> well. Oh, you mean the Winnebago. The, the, the I thought Travato. you meant the Storyteller. Oh, well, That okay. is my favorite, but, but that's our my favorite. favorite. Okay, okay, okay. Our favorite is the Travato. Yes, yes. So those are the five vans that we picked for you guys starting from least expensive to most expensive at this RV show. So let us know, do you have any of the vans that we looked at today? Yeah, let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to know, does, does anybody own any of these five? So it was the Tofino, the Dazzle, the, the Travato, oh, Travato, the Gretsch, the Gretsch, and the Beast Mode Storyteller. Yeah, those were our five picks from today. Let us know if you have any, and I think we're gonna close this video out. All right, see you guys next Wednesday. Bye guys. Bye.